And just a reminder of uh, the adventures, this epic journey in Europe for eight days, where we went to Dunkirk, very briefly, we saw the, the beaches. Then we went to Poland and saw Auschwitz and Birkenau. And then we went to Northern Poland to find my dad's uh, POW camp, XXB, which this whole blog has been about mainly. We went to Amsterdam and we stood outside Anne Frank's house. Some of you may have seen or posted pictures of that. And lastly, uh, yesterday, we went to Yeeps and we saw the last bugle. That was awesome. Finishing off then from where we were cut off this morning, Dad came home, he was emaciated and ill and sick uh, and it took Mum months and months and months to get him back to health. My Mum told Anthea that Dad came home uh, to quote, a quiet empty shell of a man. So poor Dad, he was just blown away by the whole experience of the, of the prisoner of war camp and that dreadful march home, which I'll give you some gruesome details about yesterday. Well, just show you a picture. Um, my granddad helped my dad set up in business and uh, my great granddad was a very successful builder and businessman. This is the four generations of foxes. That's yours truly in swaddling clothes. Uh, that's uh, Eddie. Dad holding me and there's Grandad Fox that's it so that's a very exciting photo to have four generations in in one in one go uh, later on just show you this picture this is uh, dad with yours truly again and for those of you locals this is on Lays Down Beach no less Lays Down Beach so Dad came home, started the family, and I, I don't know if I did mention this morning, but the horrors of the war and the POW camp march home and uh, did have an, a very negative effect on mum and dad, and the marriage struggled on for a little while. I'm afraid the marriage failed. Um, dad, uh, dad left the family, and we didn't see him for about three, four, five years, perhaps. We contacted again it was I was quite nervous to see dad we, we were very poor struggling on uh, we had four children at that time three and it was very hard and dad gave me some money and out of his good out of the goodness of his heart uh, to help with the family and uh, I I took it wrongly I look back and it's one of the deepest regrets in my life I took it wrongly and I was actually angry because I wanted, I wanted dad, not the money. Um, and I was managing as, as a young man, and I, I, it, I really regret that because I took that I took his kindness and generosity totally the wrong way. So it's something that I've been kicking myself for uh, for many many years. And then as a result of that, we didn't see each other again for a long time. And I don't know if you can read this back to front, but we lost nine years needlessly. And it's something that I really, really regret. But 14 years after that, we caught up again. And by this time, he'd set himself up in a small business uh, down in uh, Plasto, Billingshurst. And we caught up with him again, and I'll just show you a picture of when we caught up with Dad again. And this is my, this is yours truly, with my dad and Sam. The happy part of the story is that in that in the last six seven years of his life, um, we we made up and we we caught up really well. Sadly, we didn't talk enough about the POW years. Um, we just it was good just to to be make friends again and love each other again and have father and son and, and family. Now, whilst we were away for that, during that 14 years, 
I found faith, if you want, and I became a believer in Jesus. And so when we did uh, contact Dad again, uh, as you know, Dad had totally lost his faith during the war, and he was not happy that I'd actually found faith at all. Uh, and he gave me, he was not unkind, but he gave me um, a little bit, no, I wouldn't say a bad time, but he questioned me and he was worried about uh, what I was telling the children and fairy tales and so on. Um, so that was about the only area that, that Dad and I, might you might say, disagreed on. Otherwise, it was a lovely relationship. But after about seven years, I think we had seven, good seven, eight years going down there and seeing Dad and the family, and uh, we found out that Dad was ill one day and he was dying of cancer. So we shot down there and, and caught up, and then uh, he, went, he was taken into hospital and it became clear that very very soon he was quite ill and the operation wasn't a success to remove the cancer and he was dying so we went down there two or three times and uh, it was quite sad because i remember one day my dad was so weak uh, he asked me to shave him while i was in hospital and that was uh, like a precious thing to be able to do and to be able to shave dad. Uh, but one day uh, he got so ill and he could hardly get his words out and he said to me, son, what is life all about? And it seemed, it seemed to be a question out of the blue. And being a Christian, I gave him the only answer that I knew from a verse in the Bible called, uh, it was where Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. And he asked me a few questions and I, I said, well, why don't you re-establish your faith, Dad, and pray and ask Jesus into your heart and life and forgive you for your, any wrongs and so on. And, uh, uh, you know, invite Jesus in. So that was such a powerful moment for me to be on the bed. And my children were at the bottom bed. They come with me and it, they were in tears as, I, as Dad and I prayed together. So, so that was that was awesome during the last fortnight of his life. He refound his faith after the horrors of um, 1940 to 45. And I went down there the next time to see him. And uh, I just, by this time he could hardly talk at all. And I, I just held his hands and uh, held his hand and I, I just said, I whispered to him, Dad, I'm praying for you. And he whispered back, <sighs> he whispered back, I'm praying for you too, son. And uh, although that, that that was the last time I saw him really conscious. Um, the next time I went down there, we, we got time down there just in time for him to die. So I didn't, that was the last time I saw him alive. Uh, and um, So it, it was very sad for us, of course, because we lost Dad and, and, and lost all those years. But it was a glad time because I know that he had actually re, rediscovered his faith. One huge thing for me is I've got a sister, Lucy. And so that's one enormous, great, tremendous thing. That's, it's, it's not my blood sister. It's <laughs> the sister of the person... Uh, the daughter of the person that, that dad married, Audrey. Um, so that, that's, you know, there's some really good stuff come out of that. Yeah. Oh, Jen, love you too, darling. And because uh, Jen's had to put up with without me for a, a week. It's probably a good thing, really. No mess around the house. Nothing in its, nothing out of its place where it should have been. <laughs> I really must go now. God bless everyone. Take care and look after yourselves.